Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review and wear test using this very raved and loved Bondi Sands Daily Moisturizing Face SPF 50. I'm going to see how this works with makeup. You guys know that I love finding good sunscreens that work well with makeup, and this supposedly works amazing with makeup. So we're gonna be putting this to the test today. But before we get started, I do really want to introduce myself for those of you guys who are new to my channel. Hi, welcome. My name is Jessica, aka The Mexican Beauty, and I make videos on all things beauty, a lifestyle, and fashion. So I would love for you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Also, while you're at it, don't forget to hit the notification bell because I'll make sure you never, ever miss a video. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram, The Mexican Beauty, and also TikTok, The Mexican Beauty, because whenever I'm not here on YouTube, I'm posting amazing content on those two platforms. 24 seven. So catch me there. I've seen so many content creators talk about this and I've seen a lot of sponsored content on this specific sunscreen. So I was like, you know what? Everybody's saying that it's amazing with makeup. It's amazing for sensitive skin. I'm going to purchase this at Walgreens and sit here and let you guys know how this does with my makeup. I do want to say one thing really quickly in no way, shape or form am I considering myself a skin expert. I'm a skin enthusiast for sure. So, this is the Bondi Sands, the Australian Tan Daily Moisturizing Face SPF 50. It's supposed to be a moisturizer and sunscreen in one. It's fragrance free and it's reef friendly 72 hydration, suitable for sensitive skin. So this does contain 2.53 ounces. You can find this at your local Walgreens. I will look on Walgreens' website and see what store near you has it in stock before you go to Walgreens because I've made that mistake before and it's a waste of gas. Ain't nobody got time for that. I want to say this retails for $7. I think it was like $6.99, but you know, with tax and everything, it ends up being seven. Um, and I was just really excited because I've heard nothing but amazing things. It's non-greasy, fast absorbing, invisible finish, sulfate and paraben free, contains vitamin E, dermatologist tested, non-comodogenic, won't clog pores. So let's go ahead and pour this out. So we're gonna do that much. Right there, we're gonna start off with that much. So when you first take it out of the packaging, it looks, you know, like it's gonna give you a white cast, right? And I just like to apply it like that. And you look at that and you're like, whoo, white cast. But when you apply it, do you guys see that? It melts right into the skin. Now this is a chemical sunscreen, in case you're wondering mineral chemical, this is a chemical sunscreen. I was really impressed with how easily it melted into the skin. Especially on the days where I do wear makeup, because on the days where I don't wear makeup, I can get away with wearing my mineral sunscreens. I use the Bliss one, I use the Burst one, and I'm like, whatever, if I have a little bit of a tint, it's okay because I am um, not wearing any makeup, you know? It doesn't matter. But this is looking like it could be a great alternative for the days where I do wear makeup. And it also moisturizes the skin, which is another great thing about it is because it could be a two-in-one. You guys can see that it gives a like very hydrating radiance from within residue. So I would say with this, if you do have oily skin, I would just use this if you wanted to try it as moisturizer and sunscreen. I wouldn't go ahead and, you know, go in with the moisturizer because you are getting dewy. You guys can see how luminous it looks. I personally am a combination skin person as of now. I used to be very oily skin, but when I turned 25, my skin began to become dry. Not like completely dry, but a little bit more dry. So I do have my dry areas and I have my oily areas, so I'm combination skin. So for me, I don't mind this to be honest because I feel like it looks really nice on the skin. I feel like it performs really well and it hydrates my skin, which would be great for when I go in with my foundation and all that. I don't think that it's gonna leave any type of area for there to be like, you know, separation or not hydrated enough because this gives you the hydration. It does contain aloe, which is great for people that do have sensitive skin, rosacea skin. This does contain vitamin E, which is great for like that hydration. And this also does have beeswax in it, which really does kind of help make everything more hydrated and moisturized. This is definitely something I'm here for. Another thing that I really liked about this sunscreen in particular was the fact that it has the SPF 50. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but a lot of the sunscreens that I personally have are around 30 to 35. And that's just because with my very sensitive skin, I'm gonna apply some on my neck because you never wanna neglect the neck. But um, one of the things with me is because I have rosacea sensitive skin, I have tried to use some sunscreens that have like that, you know, good amount of SPF, SPF 50, and it just doesn't work for me. It irritates my skin, it burns my eyes. 
So I was a little bit hesitant with this because I've had bad experiences with higher SPF than like 30 and 35. But with this one, I haven't had any issues of irritating. Also get the ears. Um, it just kind of melts into the skin, honestly, which I really do appreciate. It says it's fragrance free. It doesn't have a fragrance smell, but it does smell like sunscreen. Nothing too intense, but you can smell it there. Okay, so in case you guys are wondering the difference between a mineral sunscreen and chemical sunscreen. So the mineral sunscreen is the sunscreen that sits on top of your skin, which is how you get like the tint and everything. So it's kind of like a shield for your face that it's blocking as opposed to a chemical sunscreen penetrates into your skin, does its job and then releases. But I do feel like for me personally, for certain things I would use like chemical over my mineral sunscreen. It just really depends on your preference and what you feel like works with your body, with your personal needs. That's just pretty much what it is. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna apply the foundation. Now we're gonna be going in with our Huda Beauty foundation. I wore this in the shade of Butter Pecan, Pecan, whatever you wanna call it. Okay, so let's see how this does with our sunscreen. So far, the sunscreen feels very, very lightweight under the foundation, which I am very appreciative of, but you can smell the sunscreen. Wow, I have to say, I had no issues applying this. When I started seeing some of my favorite influencers talk about this, I was like, I need to purchase this. I saw Carly Bible talk about this. I saw Michaela from TikTok talk about this, and I was like, and it's not irritating my rosaceous skin. It's not burning my eyes with the 50 SPF. I think that can be such a struggle for people is finding a good sunscreen that works with their products if they do tend to wear a good amount of makeup or they just don't like the feel of a mineral sunscreen. Definitely would say look into chemical sunscreens and see if they're a good fit for you because they may not be. And then maybe you just have to continue looking for a good mineral sunscreen that works for you. But I know there's a lot of people that neglect their sunscreen just because it feels so sticky and it just feels so like thick and it doesn't work with their foundations and it makes the foundation separate. It burns their eyes. Well, for whatever reason, that's the main reason why people tend to just not wear sunscreen is because sunscreen can be hard product to wear. You know, it can be something that is like a little tedious to like work with. But I think when you find a good sunscreen that works for you, I think that it's so much easier to kind of implement that as like a daily part of your life. Um, so it's just about finding the right one. And I feel like another thing you guys may be wondering is because it did have a luminosity, especially if you do have oily skin and you look at me and you're like, oh my gosh, how's it gonna work with my oily skin? You guys can see like the foundation still does its job. This is a luminous matte foundation. So it gives you that soft matte finish, but the skin doesn't look any more dewy or it doesn't look as dewy as it did when we just applied the sunscreen. Like it looks perfectly fine with foundation. Um, another thing with this is that you can retouch with this sunscreen. Um, chemical sunscreens tend to be easier to retouch over makeup. With the amount of makeup that I wore and all the steps that I do and how like perfect I want it to look, I would rather just retouch with a spray because with the spray, you can do that as much as you want. You can just throw it in your bag on the go. So the one that I always use is my Milani Make It Last setting spray with 30 SPF. Um, Kula also is a really good one that I like to use as well. And my Seriously Fab Zinc It Over, I will have them all three linked down below, but that's what I use to retouch. So it just really depends on your preference. Everybody does things differently. What I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I'm gonna finish off the rest of my makeup and then I'm gonna come back and give you guys my final thoughts. So keep watching to see how this all comes together. Okay guys, so I am back. I finished my entire face of makeup and I am really impressed with how the Bondi Sands sunscreen worked with my face because it looks amazing. Like I was able to apply everything that I always apply, had no issues with the sunscreen. I noticed that when I use my mineral sunscreens with makeup, I tend to have buildup or just has a white cast on the skin before I apply everything else. This did not have that whatsoever. It worked just as great. One thing I did read about the chemical sunscreens is that they do not have any type of flashback, um, but I'm gonna just try it regardless, just to kind of see, because I know some of you guys may be wondering. 
Yeah, so I feel like my makeup looks perfect. Like it literally matches my complexion, had no issues with flashback. I would say that this would be great for anybody who's looking for a sunscreen that's not gonna give them a white cast. A sunscreen that's going to give them, you know, the 50 SPF without the burning sensation on the eyes and really make their skin feel nice, soft, and good and is looking for something that they can wear under foundation, this is going to be your go-to for sure. And this definitely gave it to me. So if you're looking for a really good sunscreen, I would definitely recommend looking into this product right here because it's really good. You can find it at Walgreens, like I mentioned earlier. And I would recommend getting your hands on this ASAP because it has been selling out at Walgreens and also on websites. To say, I'm definitely very impressed with this as somebody that does wear makeup and does have sensitive combination rosacea skin. So those are all my thoughts. If you guys did enjoy watching this video where I tested out this sunscreen with my makeup routine, then please go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. And I hope that you guys have a fabulous day. Don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed, and stay beautiful. And I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye, guys.